with anima, we can also create animations like the one we see here. Just three bars moving up and down, creating the effect that is playing to a beat. So we're going to select the symbol and go to prototype and select animation from the drop down menu. The difference between interactions and animations is that for interactions, you need to do something for the action to happen. For example, a click. For animations, they're just automatic. Again, the first state or keyframe is already made for us. So let's change the second keyframe a little bit. We're going to make this one a little smaller. Looks good. This one, like this. And the third one, like so. And now, if you play it, you can see how it works. We are going to change the delay and the duration of each rectangle so we can give it a little more feel to it. The first one stays the same. To the second one, we're going to add 0.1 seconds of delay. And the third one, 0.2 seconds of delay and make it 0.3 seconds long. Let's see what happens when we play it all. And there you go. It looks like it's playing to a music beat right now. You can also play around with the ease curve or you can enter your own. 